Okay, you should be recording already. So this is an augmented section for uh, my students from EMP 131, which is actually going to be a tutorial on uh, using counters together with the stepper motor. So this tutorial is actually intended to be uh, posted on YouTube as a listed video. So you'll probably see it there when you view it. So let's turn on PLC Ladder 2, which is the program that I'm using. Okay. So we'll keep this brief. Okay. So for our purposes, we want to have three outputs. Or basically, we can leave it at two outputs instead of uh, three outputs. Okay. So let's add in a couple of outputs more. Okay. So let's add in one more lung. Let's call this one as our one. And then add it and add one more. Let's call this one two. Okay. So the, the most important thing to remember is that you always have to have the two start button, start and stop button, basically. So in the long yun, two start and stop buttons. Okay. Again, I always set my stop button to be at one, my start button to be at zero. Okay. All of the ranks must have the settings of the start and stop to ensure that any disabling of the start button or disabling of the or enabling of the stop button actually inhibits or stops the program from, from working. Okay. So let's add in one more. Let's set it to one. And add in one more. And let's set it to zero. Okay. And added one more and set it to one. <clears throat> so for the most part, all PLC programs will probably have this if you're the one, if I'm the one you're talking to. Okay. They will all have this safety feature. Now, for a purpose of a counter, uh, we need to add in a couple of things. Okay. Uh, we need to add in a count up timer. Okay. Let's call this one C1. Again, you can start from zero, but I prefer to start at one. So it's a more or less de uh, determined item for me. Okay. Let's go to this area here, and then let's put in a constant. Okay. For this motor, which is basically the, the one that I'm using, 28BYJ, or so the BJY uh, 485, which is five volts. It's actually a 64 tooth motor. So therefore, I would place in the constant to be 64. That 64 movements of the teeth causes one full rotation. Okay, so add in. And from here, we will need a an item that causes the CU to go up and then causes it to come down or to have a change state. Okay. So the change state element can be something as simple as placing in this value, okay, a normally closed value for O2 on the O2 rung itself. This causes a vibration to happen. Okay. So that's the most basic. But again, I don't recommend it for normal programs. Since this is just a tutorial, I would therefore try to include it as a shortcut to make the video shorter. Okay. So this item here causes the O2, which is my pulse output, to change state from high okay, to low. Okay. High to low, high to low. So this is also going to be a reflected item that we put back on our CU, since CU requires a pulse to occur. Okay. The reset, on the other hand, is the inverse of these two. Okay. So let's 
So 1, add in, and then 0. Okay, ah, there we go. So this gives you a basic uh, element that causes the system to, if this is an enable button and this is our uh, direction button, it would go enable counterclockwise and then pulse. <clears throat> or sorry, clockwise, because it's one check or it's in held high position. Okay. So when we try to test this one out, okay, you notice that we have uh, values flowing to this one. And we notice that I made a mistake here. Okay. I set it at I instead of O. Okay. To update and play. Okay. So you can see the counter going up and this one getting set. Okay. Now to enable the direction and the output to stop uh, having a value, okay, we can place in here C1DN as a closed terminal. So C1DN, which is the output of your counter. So ito yung pang lock natin or to uh, lock out this one from happening para isang direction lang yung afterwards patay na yung enable natin or the enable is disabled. Okay. But the same thing we'll do for the okay sorry why is it O? Okay. 1 DN and okay. So we have here the same thing, we'll play it now. We'll reset the system. Note, to reset this line, reset line has to be held high. Okay. And then let's start again the action. Okay. So this concludes the short presentation for a counter. Okay, in the counter implemented for a enable direction pulse input uh, stepper motor controller such as the TB6600. Okay. So I can stop the recording already. <clears throat>